Hello, beautiful people. I'm back. I'm deal with the squeaky toilet because I am. Now, I wanted to talk again about, you know, what? So, glasses are just a little tinted. I was outside earlier. But I wanted to make this video about Aunt Piggy and Uncle Larry. Oh, honey, I'm using your city now. City, town, whatever from Iowa. Johnson City, Iowa. I'm saying it. You guys have pushed me to the point. Mm-hmm. Where I have to. I have to open up my mouth. Close mouth, don't get bit. So I've opened up my mouth and I'm going to say this. Piggy and Larry from Johnson City, Iowa. And Peggy. Let's talk for a minute. Let's talk about your dad, my grandpa. He died multiple years ago. Multiple years ago. So, and then let's talk about Grandma, your mom. How she died in 2017. It's 2020. And you still haven't done the right thing. But let's talk. Let's talk about how certain family members as of last year last summer last year in 2019 start to question you yes they do they had questioned you as of last year yeah, it could have started a little bit before that. They were like, how come Grandma and Grandpa are not buried at a military cemetery? A veteran cemetery. Why? Why? Because you were too busy being on one of your drunken binges. And spending everybody else's money to do the right thing. After they started to question you, that's when you and Uncle Larry decided, oh yeah, maybe we should, to shut them up so that way they don't question anything else. Honey, I'm questioning everything. Everything. So you and Uncle Larry decided to take Grandpa and Grandma's ashes and finally have them entombed at a veteran cemetery there in Iowa. After God knows how many years that Grandpa's been gone. After two years of your mom being gone. That y'all, and then to post the pictures all over Facebook like you're so distraught and it just weighs so heavily on you showing that their urns with their ashes are going into the veteran cemetery honey mm -mm. I don't buy the little BS how it just broke you up The only reason why you did it is because other family members from that side of the family, your side of the family, were questioning you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, they did. And they're starting to question you now about the rest of the will. Mm-hmm. Just like I am. Mm-hmm. Now, I know personally I was left up in the will. 
Aunt Peggy. Was it really worth it? Because everything is starting to crumble around you now. Your lies are catching up with you. And you think that nobody will publicly call you out on your lies. You do. I will. I will. Just because I'm smiling people doesn't mean that I'm not upset. I am. But I have to have a sense of humor with this also. I want to tell you why. After this whole thing with my grandparents, not liking my mom's side of the family, because my mom's side of the family is black and Jewish, that they thought that they can keep their little hang-ups about my dad marrying outside of the race. My dad was blonde hair and blue eyes. And Grandma made it very, very well known that she did not like my mom or her side of the family. So all these years of Aunt Peggy from Johnson City, Iowa, hearing all this over the years, you thought you would get your last little dig up in me. It ain't going to work. Because Grandma and Grandpa softened up over the years. They finally realized that my twin brother and I were family. Now granted, my brother and I do not have the blonde hair and blue eyes. I do have blonde hair up on my arms, people. Yes, it's blonde. It's blonde. The rest of my hair is black. A lot of gray. <laughs> a lot of gray. Good Lord. Not even 60 yet, and I've got gray hair. But you know what? My dad did too. Now granted, my dad passed away at the age of 37 from massive coronary. In his sleep. And his mom went... 30-something years later, in her sleep, by a heart attack also, which I'm grateful for. They didn't feel any pain. And that's my biggest concern right there, people feeling pain before they pass away. We've been the greatest country in the world. You shouldn't be feeling pain for nothing. But that's beside the point. Now, Grandma and Grandpa have obviously softened up over the years, and that's why Grandma left me up in her will. But you think that you're all the way up there in Iowa, me down here in Texas, I'm not going to know anything. I know it all, Aunt Peggy from Johnson City, Iowa. Now, I did say I had a picture And I'm fixing to show it. Excuse me, people. It's a little heavy. It is my dad. Standing in the background. With my mom. Holding my twin. And my great-grandma. From my mom's side of the family. Holding me. It's a family photograph. Now, like I said. We don't look like our dad. But Aunt Peggy. I'm willing to do a DNA test to prove I'm your family. How about it? You want to do a DNA test? Come on. Take me to court. Go ahead. Because then everything in the bag comes out. Everything. Everything be put out there on the table for the court to see. Now, now granted, I was a baby. My twin and I, we were babies at the time when this picture was taken. But I got proof. Oh, God. 
God. No. See? My dad's in the background. That's my mom. She's holding my twin. This is my great-grandma. And she's holding me. This picture right here, this family photograph, this family photograph was taken at my great-grandma's house. My mom, her grandma, our great-grandma. And this picture was not taken at my dad's house. Obviously, my mom's side of the family accepted my dad. Accepted him. Now, no matter what, Aunt Peggy, you cannot say I'm not family. I want a DNA test. If you go around telling people I'm not family, I wasn't left up in the will. Oh, I'm showing that, too. The longer this goes on, the more I'm going to show. And I know you don't want me to show any of this, Aunt Peggy, from Johnson City, Iowa. Do the right thing. I'll keep my mouth closed. But as long as you do the wrong thing, I'm going to keep blabbing everything. Uh, I think maybe in the next video I should say your and your husband's last name from Johnson City, Iowa. How about that, Aunt Piggy? Remember, I always win every single time. Don't try me. Still family. Y'all come back now, you hear?